Hello everyone. In this video, we will look at one of uh, the IAM best practices, uh, which is about uh, uh, rotating the credentials regularly. So let's understand what it means about uh, you know rotate credentials regularly. Basically, uh, AWS recommends that on a regular basis you want to change or change your own passwords and access keys. And uh, you wanna make sure that all your IAM users are doing it uh, on their accounts. So in today's video, I'll show you how to create a IAM policy and attach it to the users so that users get the permissions to change their own passwords, their access keys. Because you might have created, you know, users with the very limited uh, uh, permission sets uh, so that they, by default might not get the ability to change the password. So we have to create a policy. So let's uh, have a look at it. So basically what I have done is, so let's go to the IAM part. I already have created uh, a user called test users. Let's add another user. So let's do a scenario where we see that a user cannot change the password and then we will attach the managed policy to it. So let's create a user called test user two and give it access to the management console. Let's create a password for it. Let's attach one of the policies, which is really, uh, I wanna attach a S3 read only access to this user. So that's the only access this user has is uh, to read the S3 bucket. All right, so we have uh, created this user. Uh, let's now go in here and log in with that user account. All right, so we are logged in as test user to that we just now created. And uh, when we created the user, the only permissions or the only access this user has is to the S3 bucket. So let's now, uh, you know, verify that. So first of all, let's go to EC2. Let's see if this user can create a EC2 instance. All right, so as you can see here, there are a lot of messages saying you're not authorized to do these actions, but just to, you know, try it out. Let's say launch instance. And I'll just pick, you know, the free tier and uh, let's select one of the EMI. So even at this step, it says an error has occurred. You're not authorized to perf perform this action. So, all right. So this, you know, confirms that the user cannot just launch a EC2 instance. So let's now just quickly go to S3 bucket. Let's see the user can uh, read and has access to the S3 bucket. Yes, there is one S3 bucket that I have already created. Yes, the, there is only one file here. The user can uh, read the file. So let's see if I can, you know, as this test user to try to delete this file. All right, as expected, you know, I, this user has, does not have access to delete. All right, let's now go back to what we wanted to do here is uh, go back to the security credentials page and see if I can change my password. So I get to, you know, enter the uh, the old password and the new passwords. All right, so as you can see here, even though we, you know, can see this, uh, this page here, which seems like that we can change our password, but we are unable to change the password, right? And it is just telling you that, uh, you know, make sure your old password is correct. You have uh, uh, the password meets uh, the password policy and you have permissions to change. So basically it is because you are, you do not have the permissions to change the password. And if as this user, I can go to, sorry, going back to here to the IAM. So, and as you can see here also, you know, a lot of things are missing because this user does not is not authorized to see or list all these things. And if I go to users, uh, again, you know, it says that you need permissions about which is the IAM list users. All right, so let's now log out from here. And 
and we'll log back in as test user one. So these two users, everything is co common between these two users. The only difference is that for test user one, I have already attached uh, the manage policy which allows this user to change its uh, password. Let's now go in to IAM and this user also has S3 read-only permissions. So you see here now it looks different. This user can see the dashboard. It has here it can go to users, it can list the users and what it can do is then I can click on test user 1 and go to the security credentials and actually you know you can change your password here i'm not going to change it here uh, but i just wanted to show you so this user does have the permissions and you can create your access key or if you already have access key you can rotate that access key so let's just create a access key boom here you can see you know the user can create the access key and Let's now see if, you know, I tried to change the password for test user two while logging in as test user one. You see here, so I can only change my password. I cannot change or create access keys for other users. If I click here, it does not give me the option to change the password here. All right, so let's now, let me just show you the policy that was, that's attached to this user. Now I'm logged in as the root account here, as a root uh, user for, for this AWS account. So going into test user one, the only two policies are the S3 read only. Again, that is the same uh, with the test user two. The difference is about this policy that I have created called rotate security credential policy. So let's now go under policies. And this is where this policy is, is uh, here. Let me just quickly, you know, create, show you how did, how did I create this policy. So you click on create policy and you have three different options how you want to create it. So I am just selecting create your own policy because I have already, you know, uh, written it so I'm just gonna you know this is uh, the policy that is attached to to a user, test user one and to find this policy you can go to my github uh, repository and you know here uh, the whole policy is listed and I'll share this link uh, you know in in the description part of the YouTube video so that you can have it handy so basically it's very simple. You can just say, you know, policy dash one, and you can provide some description. And uh, you, here is your policy document and you can just uh, click, uh, you know, create policy that would uh, create this policy. I'm just gonna click cancel here for now. But this is uh, uh, the policy that is uh, created. And you could see that uh, uh, it's attached to test user one. Right, so let's go back to uh, users here. So, and if I go here, and you can see here, this is uh, the policy that is, uh, you know, attached to this user. And you can also read the policy, you know, by clicking or expanding this one here. So that's, uh, you know, uh, that's all about uh, this video. Basically, again, just to quickly recap, it was, uh, I wanted to show you how to, uh, uh, create the policy to allow the IAM user so that he or she can go in and uh, re uh, rotate their password, which is uh, really implementing this best practice, which says rotate credentials regularly. All right. Uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks for uh, joining. Just uh, one last bit that came to quickly to my mind is that so when you, if you take this policy document, make sure to change uh, this to your account ID. I have just put a generic one to three ID here, but make sure you change this ID. All right. Thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. I'll see you in the, in the next video. Thanks.